Hey guys, thanks for checking out this video. I'm Lauren with In-Depth Sonar and I'm pretty excited because I finally got to see some actual on the water footage with Hummingbirds Mega Live. So I wanna show you guys that. It's really rough, really uh, raw video, but it's really cool to see this product and how it's gonna work. So let's take a look at the video right now. All right, we've all been waiting since last November to see actual footage of Mega Live on the water and that time is finally here. Hummingbird users are gonna have a real-time sonar option to add to their setup. We're using Mega Live on a Helix 15 in this case with a very dirty screen and I apologize for that but as I said this video is raw and it is here just to show you the image quality and just kind of how the the mega live is going to look when you uh, finally get one on your boat this is the forward view we're looking at right here I'm currently in about uh, 25 feet of water here and coming into the screen there you can see some structure which uh, as we get a little closer you're going to see it's definitely a couple boulders um, you can almost see the just they're pointing to it there just the first boulder in line and then as we pan the uh, trolling motor left and right it looks like there's a fish behind that big boulder there one great way to use all these real-time sonars, and I think it's gonna be especially true with Mega Live to kind of get an idea of what we're looking at, is just to kind of sweep the trolling motor a little bit just to see what we're looking at. And there, there was a fish right there. You probably caught that before he pointed to it. And you know, that's classic spot in about 20 feet of water. There's a bass sitting right by a boulder. You can pan the trolling motor a little bit left and right to kind of get an idea of what that structure looks like and almost paint that image. And while it does disappear right away, it will show you um, just a little bit more of how that structure looks and lays out and it will give you a better idea of what you're actually looking at down there. And right now we can see another fish there and we're getting into a little bit shallower water here as well. You can see we're sitting right on a drop off and again as we're panning that trolling motor you can see there was a big boulder there on that drop off and there it is right there you can see that boulder just right on the top of that drop off in uh, it looks like about 15 feet of water and there's a fish uh, right between those two boulders there and the mega live does a really good job of showing you down that whole drop off you know the boat there is in about 12 feet of water or so and then looking down that drop off into about 22 feet and again you can see another fish there uh, just went out when the the rain shifted but uh, it was around the, the 20 foot mark i believe Okay, now the automatic range just shifted to a little bit deeper and uh, just at the edge of the screen there, you can kind of see two bottoms. And uh, the reason we're seeing that is this is a rock outcropping. So some of the rocks actually stick out a little bit further than what's below on this drop off. So you'll actually uh, get some dead spots in it. And that, that's gonna be true for any type of sonar really. And one thing I've really noticed about the Mega Live is the lack of beam stitching. The uh, image is just really seamless. It looks really good all as one image and uh, you don't see a higher sensitivity setting in one portion of the beam than the next. So that's a really nice thing that they've done with the Mega Live. The automatic mode is not too bad in this in shifting ranges. I always recommend using the units in manual mode, especially for depth range rather than in automatic mode because you can lose information that would be important to you at certain times as it shifts. This does a fairly decent job keeping the bottom in the picture at all times. There's a few instances where it doesn't and you would benefit from using it in a manual mode in my opinion. In that case there, we're just panning up the drop off and you can really see Again, here we're getting into an area with um, some of that rock outcropping. You can see those dead spots I was kind of talking about, and that's just because of a rock outcropping based on the, the beam of the transducer. It just can't look behind those rocks, which is very typical, like I say, with any type of sonar. The other nice thing Hummingbird did with this is really design a good mounting system. So the forward and down view is very nice and compact, close to the trolling motor shaft. And then their overhead view, which is like the perspective mode or the scout mode on the other brands, it uh, actually just, there's two buttons that push in on the mount and then the transducer just rotates into that position and it keeps it very close to the trolling motor shaft, which is, is nice because some of the other ones do get it a little bit further away. You know, so if you do have those uh, different mounts on um, the, and you are going to be using them, the Mega Live definitely is the most advanced mounting system. And here, there you can clearly see a couple boulders. 
And again, we're just looking kind of like side imaging. We're just looking for the, the shadow to really uh, kind of give you an idea of what you're looking at. You can see the face of the boulder is the strongest signal. It's that uh, very, very strong return. And then it kind of just tapers out from there. And then you have your shadows, your dead spots, which is behind the boulder that the sonar beam can't get to. Here we're getting into some shallower water right under the boat there you can see some standing weeds probably some cabbage weed that's uh, in about 12 feet of water up to about maybe topping out in about eight feet of water so there you go that's mega live those are some of the highlights from this video what did you guys think uh, do you like it are you excited about it you're going to be getting one in september when they come out talk about it in the comments below if you have any questions i'll try and answer those as well i've got a full comparison video coming out soon on active target mega live and Garmin Live Scope. So you guys won't want to miss that. So be sure to subscribe to the channel so you get notified when that video is out.